What's up guys, today we talk about everything you need to know to set up your quad in the Betaflight software. The first step is to go to the Chrome Web Store and download the Betaflight app. Open the app and install the drivers listed on the front page. Connect your drone with the USB cable, but do not plug in the battery at this point. Now some cables don't have all the necessary wires inside, so if it doesn't show up, just try another cable. You should have a new device listed in the drop down menu. Just select it and try to connect. Once you have successfully connected to your quad, you can disconnect as we need to flash the flight controller. Go into the firmware flasher tab and select the flight controller you have and the latest version of Betaflight. Once that's done, you can press full ship and race, as it's a new flight controller and there's no settings you need to keep. Press the load button to load the firmware, and then once that's done, press the flash button to flash the firmware to the flight controller. Once it's done, you can just disconnect and then reconnect your flight controller and you should be able to find it. Put your quad on a flat and steady surface and press calibrate accelerometer. On the configuration tab you can find all sorts of interesting features. For instance you can turn on OSD and air mode. If you don't know what these are or how they work you should just leave them off. If you're interested to learn more just check out Joshua Bardwell's videos on both OSD and the air mode, they're really great. Then I go ahead and change the PID loop frequency from 2kHz to 4, since I know I have a fast board that can handle it. Just check your CPU load down at the bottom bar, make sure it doesn't go all too high. As you can see mine's on 3% which is really low. Just make sure that it's under 30% at all times. This is just to ensure that the CPU load never goes to 100% in a demanding situation like when you're flying. I make sure I have one shot enabled as my ECs supports it. If you've changed the angle your flight controller is located, just use these axes to change it. You can then check if it's correct by looking at the setup tab and see if it mimics your movements. Now it's time to check motor direction. Now it's important to remove the props as they will spin up at this step. Once you have removed them, just plug in the battery and then try to gently slide up these sliders one by one and check which motor it is and what direction it's spinning. Note if it's spinning the wrong direction, we will fix that in the next step. Go back to the Chrome App Store and download the BL Heli configurator. Granted that you actually run BL Heli ECs. Go ahead and change the motor direction on the motors that were spinning the wrong direction. Go ahead and press the flash all button and then flash all of your ESCs with the latest BL Heli version. Next up, ESC calibration. It's very important that you remove your props before proceeding at this step. Now before you plug in your battery, turn this switch and drag up the master to 100%. Then plug in your battery and you should hear a few beeping noises. At this point, turn the slider down to zero. You should hear a few beeping sounds once again and then you can just unplug your battery. Next up, receiver setup. If you're using the protocol SBUS, then go into your UART ports and turn on Serial RX to the port where you connected the SBUS receiver. Then just go into configuration and make sure you turn the receiver type to SBUS. If you're instead using PPM, just change it to PPM. If you want more information about these protocols, check out our other video, I linked the card. You should now be able to see your transmitter inputs. If any of them are in the wrong order, just go to the channel map and change the order. If they're instead inverted, then you can just change that on the transmitter itself. Last up, I turn off the RC deadband to get rid of these small fluctuations. 
and then the yaw dead band, so it's easier to add throttle without actually yawing when you're flying the quadcopter. Go into modes and configure an arm switch. Now you can check which switches are connected to what in the receiver tab by looking at the aux ports. And you can then change what switches go to which aux port in your transmitter. I have my arm switch configured to aux 5, so I just go and configure it here. When the yellow indicator moves into the yellow field, then it's armed. I then go ahead and do the same thing with the beeper setting, so I can easily find my quad if I lose it. I also add a flight switch toggle to change to angle mode. I decide to switch the direction I put the arm switch in, and then I'm done. And that's everything you need to know to set up beta flight on your first quad. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one.